Just take another email now. Uh, the night moving on very rapidly indeed. This is from Stuart. Yet again, um, criticism raining on the head towards uh, the living legend Bernie Slavin. Let's have a look at this one. Bring here. them on. And this is from Stuart. Stuart's emailed in now, I think in response to what we were just talking about. Why is it that Bernie always complains that Janino and Marinelli lack defensive qualities? My question is to the legend, why should they be able to defend? Did Pelé, Best or Bobby <laughs> Charlton or Michel Platini possess defensive qualities? No, they did not. If Bernie's going to complain about that, well, why doesn't he look at uh, defenders who should be attacking further down the pitch? Why is the criticism aimed at Juninho and Marinelli? P.S. And this is the interesting uh, thing that comes on the end of this email from Stewart. 5.9 million isn't a lot to pay for a player like Juninho. Robo could go out and pay eight million pounds for a creative midfield player in Juninho's position, and the player might and settle in Middlesbrough. With Juninho, you're not only getting a world-class player, but somebody who loves living in the area. Right. Right. As far as best, who else? Pelle, best, Pelle, Platini, those guys Bobby Charlton. Those guys didn't have to defend. They played with the best, the cream of the world. Played in top class teams. Middlesbrough. So they were minute. flawed players then. Yeah. This minute in time, <sighs> we ain't the best as yet. We're still trying to get there. These guys could be allowed the luxury of attacking and not defending. Canton had it at Manchester United. But I'm afraid when you play in a Middlesbrough shirt this minute in time, you have to be workmanlike and you have to have defensive qualities. Janino has not got that in the midfield. I interviewed him before Christmas, asked him the question, and he was honest enough to say he doesn't know how to defend. Mm. Now, that's his own words. I've not made them up. No, but I think what uh, you know, the email is talking about there... Yeah, I know what they're talking Stewart. about. I've answered you know, that. Yeah, but, but in terms of players <laughs> being attracted to the club, if, yeah. you, if you were to, to go out there for to the likes of a Bobby Charlton, a Pelle, yeah. a Best, are you saying that for top quality players we've got to say to these people, well, okay, we accept, we accept, for example, to Gabriel Batistuta, that you one of the, hang on, you're one of the best centre forwards in the world, but what we also want you to do is to play centre half. That's a ridiculous argument, isn't it? The certain guys. What would you say to Batistuta? By the way, you're a great centre forward, but, we, but because it's the borough, we want you to play centre half. Well, it's it, crazy. I think you would check out the style of Middlesbrough, and we had a, a defensive, and the main were played defensively this season. Yes. And everybody has to defend. You see that last night was evident. That's why we won the game, because every individual worked their socks off. Everybody like Brian, Dean, Campbell, who we mentioned earlier on, backtracking, doing defensive duties. I couldn't do it as a player. I'll admit that. You know I couldn't. I couldn't tackle a dinner. And I never went back. But these days, the modern game, everybody has to work their socks off. The stakes are so high. So you wouldn't have a place on Teesside these days, then? I mean, the qualities you used well, to have. Well, yeah. I would if we're going to upset the formation, Janino would be my number one man in the hole. We can't afford that luxury. It's evident Brian Robson has not put him there. If Brian Robson thought it was valid to the side, it would play him there. He's not done it. Brian Robson's answered the question. Not me. Keep the emails coming. Keep the calls coming. 01642 642.